Hi guys and welcome to this look at the NECA Friday the 13th, the final chapter or part 4 um, mask, um, Jason Voorhees mask, prop replica and remember this is not a toy do not play with it, do not run around the streets wearing it, you'll get in trouble um, but, um, let's, have, let's have a little look at the mask which we have here now these are um, relatively easy to get hold of to be honest you're going to be paying around about £30 for them around about that region um, and obviously they come in this blister packaging which we've seen the part 3, the part 4 and the Friday the 13th mask come in which is the um, Freddy vs Jason which I'll show you those masks in other videos um, but what we've got here is obviously you can clearly see the mask quite clearly through the window there Friday the 13th this is not a toy Jason mask prop replica 17 plus why that needs to be 17 plus I don't have a clue and a scene in Friday the 13th the final chapter um, part 4 now one thing I've, I've always been a bit annoyed about with this poster is the fact that you've got the the axe mark axe split on the wrong side on the poster um, for some reason I don't know why that's always bugged me for absolute years um, just grabbing a neck just grabbing another one here so you can see it a bit clearer there that's off the figure and I just just annoys me that the the axe marks well, the mark is on the wrong side um, and on the side we've got Jason mask prop replica Friday the 13th and annoyingly thank you Necker this is the remake mask um, in the back obviously you can just see the mask and you actually see the actual hot real size of it to be honest quite a big mask when you see it from that side um, Again, exactly the same on that side. Jason Mask, prop replica, and the, the remake on the top. Blah, blah, blah. So nothing's, no, there's not really too much going on there, exciting, exciting-wise, to be honest, with regard to um, information and things. So the actual mask itself. Um, now, th there's. A fair bit of difference. I'm, I'm assuming all these marks are just quickly drawn on in the factory. They're told you've got to draw a mark there, 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 there. and you know that's kind of how it's done because the, they're, they're obviously quite clearly different. Um, and obviously the paint around the top there, and then they just put a bit of shiny lacquer on, and that's and and also the 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 paint with the chevrons. I mean this you got the two on the cheeks obviously and the one above the brow this one should be more worn away but they've just decided to just put grey so that kind of bit meh for me to be honest as opposed to a worn away um, mark above the left eye um, and also I'm not too keen on the fact that they've just put red and then they just put all these little lines which looks more like, I don't know, a fire effect, I guess. Um, yeah, again, that just doesn't look like blood, to be honest. Um, on the inside, you've just got the Necker sticker in there. There's no year or anything on there. Um, and these are um, obviously made of um, a material that if you dropped them, these are going to crack. There's no, there's no denying that whatsoever. To be honest, they, these will break if they're not. If you are displaying them on the wall um, and they're not securely mounted, these will crack. Again, the pop studs can come off, so you can display them without the straps if you wish. And oh, come on, get on there. There we go. And you've got an adjustable strap there why you 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 honestly not going to be wearing this for fancy dress or anything to be honest if you do yeah i could see 
damages and breakages. Not only that, it's it's quite heavy and all, and it's cold and all. Ugh. So, um, so that's the um, look at the Necker Part Four mask or the final chapter mask. Um, for me, although obviously in Part Three. Um, this is going to be a bit more weathered, even in the, even in the fact that it's basically the next day. For me, this is these are too yellow. These masks, the part three and this part four mask, are too yellow for me in terms of what you see on film when you're watching them. I don't I don't like the yellowy look to it, to be honest. Um, now, if you're in the UK, I, I don't know if they do send abroad, but you can get, I mean I've been buying the Poster Art FX masks, which I'm going to do videos for them, which you'll see them, you know, if you follow my videos you'll see them as well. And I personally prefer the Poster Art FX mask, I'm just going to grab it, so, uh, which is this one. Um, and you can quite clearly see the difference in colour, and this for me is a more accurate colour. Um, to be honest, um, which I'll show you, I'll do another different video review for this mask, but I'm sure you'll agree this is more the proper colour than what NECA have produced here. Um, but anyway, that's a look at the NECA Friday the 13th, the final chapter mask for you guys. Um, not overly impressed with it. If you're a big Jason fan, I dare say you you probably get one of these, um, and I wouldn't blame you. But for me, they're not brilliant. To be honest, I'm sorry, Nick. I don't think you've done as good a job as you have with the um, Freddy vs. Jason mask and the um, the mask of Jason Voorhees, the the which I'll show you that guys in another video which then you could you could see how they're really not put too much effort in these guys um, but anyway as always appreciate you watching take care please leave messages um, obviously please subscribe I'll I'll obviously reply and, and, and where I can and as quick as I can and I'll catch you guys all again soon all the best take care bye bye